Good day, good day, good day, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Biz Snap Show, brought to you by Ball of Fire Coaching, and I'm Bernadette Bose. And I bring business owners, small business owners specifically, to you to showcase what their businesses are, who they serve, and the impact that they're having on their clients' lives. So those small businesses can thrive today, tomorrow, and in the future. And today I'm really, really, really excited to talk to Lady Jin and all about Lady Jin Consulting. How are you, Lady Jin? Hi, Bernadette. I'm doing fantastic. Awesome, awesome. It's so great to see you. You're so bright and shiny with a huge smile on your face. <laughs> Yeah, um, so can I join you? Yeah, I am thrilled. So tell us before we get into the business stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's talk let's talk about kind of you and like where do you live? What do you do personally before mm -hmm. we get into all the business stuff? Oh, yeah, happy to share. Mm -hmm. So I'm Lady Jing. Uh, I live in New York City in the last about 12 years. I think now I can officially call myself a New Yorker. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes. Uh, but most of the upside of New Yorkers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So I moved to New York um, for a job opportunity about 12 years ago. Before that, I spent two years near Boston for my graduate, business nice. graduate uh, education. Yeah. Nice. And before Boston... See, now we are reversing back. Before Boston, I grew up in China. I grew up in China, and my family are still in China. And I um, went uh, worked in Beijing for, for a couple of years before I came to the States. Right. Wow. So your family's all over there, and you're here yes. all by yourself? By myself. <laughs> Good yeah. for you. I came to the States with three suitcases. Um, first, first generation immigrant. <laughs> right. Awesome. And New York City, what a place to be. I mm -hmm. spent a good amount of time in my 20s and 30s there. What a great, great place to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, it, obviously, you established your business, Lady Jin Coaching there. So tell us a little bit about the business. Oh, yeah. Happy to. So um, the business, it's about helping individuals, men and women, to be confident and connected and their sex and love life. Yeah. So it's how I call it in the bedroom and in the life. <laughs> right. Nice. Very nice. Very yeah. nice. And so men and women, um, and did you say, are they single? Are they married? What is kind of their situation? Mm -hmm. I call them individual. So let me clarify that. They uh, may be single or dating or in between relationships or in a relationship or relationships, right? Nowadays, we have many different uh, forms of relationships. Sure. Right? But what I primary focus is work with individuals. So they came to work with me about deepen their self-connection and self-mastery with their pleasure, sexuality, and energy. Wow. So does it... So you might have answered the question. So is it starting with them first so they can then be a better contributor to a relationship? Or is it more that they just first want to really be able to know how they can pleasure themselves and then they can then be a better um, contributor, better lover with someone else? Uh, you just covered, uh, I would say, both of them, right? So the different yeah. layers, right? Everyone... Uh, is in different stage, but what I have seen quite common is uh, the person, no matter men or women or however you know gender definition they use for themselves, is they love to deepen their understanding and connection with their own body. That mm -hmm. includes their pleasure, their eroticism, their energy, right? So that they can be a better lover, good lover, a better lover in any relationships they are, either they are in one or in the future. Right, yeah. right, right. Nice. And I would expect that it's helping them form self-love toward themselves, correct? I That's mean, not just very physically, important. Not just yes. physically, but emotionally, spiritually, in all absolutely. other aspects. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You you got the good point here. So how I call it is on the physical level, psychological level, and emotional level. 
and that all of those levels will connect with their spirituality, right? Yeah. So some people, they define themselves have a spiritual practice, some don't, right? right. It doesn't matter. But right. our mind, our body, and our heart, yeah. yeah, that's alignment. I help them to cultivate. Nice. Very nice. And um, and I apologize if I missed it, but is there a particular age group that's coming to you or, you know, or does it cover the gamut? Um, I don't set a age limit, but, uh, well, adult, right? So for sure, I work with adult. Um, usually that I have uh, noticed people above 30, 30 years old tends to find that they resonate with my style and my, you know, my background. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, I'm, I'm just trying to think, um, cause I'm 59. Mm -hmm. so I'm just trying to think, you know, the 50 plusers and the 60 plusers are, are still trying to, you know, some of them are still trying to find their essence, their, their sensuality, their sexuality, their, you know, what they can bring to a, to a relationship and to themselves, quite mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah. Uh, so is there a large population of like 50 plus individuals coming to you? I'm just curious. Oh, uh, yeah. So um, I won't say it's a majority, but, but I definitely see a good uh, percentage in right. my uh, client group. Yeah. Right? So I've noticed that at that age, people have established uh, what they want in some yeah. other areas in life, right? right. The wealth, the career, you yeah. know, and family. And then they find they still have a lot of energy and desire in them to go deeper with their self-connection yeah. and understand the body and cultivate the energy and live a fulfilling life for the next how many years they desire. Yeah. So that's really, really uh, great. You know, it's fabulous awareness. And I love supporting those clients on that yeah. journey. Right. Right. Nothing's better than having a very open client who's willing to kind of, you know, stretch themselves and put them in situations they're not familiar with. Um, so is this one on one? Do you do group? I mean, what is how exactly do you go, go about uh, serving your client base? Mm -hmm. So primary, I offer uh, while I'm on coaching. Okay, uh, while I'm on coaching, and that can be uh, coaching spreading across a couple months, uh, four months, six months, or even more, or it's immersion. Immersion means it might be an intensive across several weekends or across a week, right? So that's really uh, is depending on the person's uh, learning style and the background and where sure. they are, where they want to be, right? And the time schedule. Right. But, yeah. 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 But I focus on providing the more customized and non cookie cutter uh, solutions because right. I do understand this is a very intimate, sensitive matter to everyone. Yeah. And on top of that, uh, we all have very different culture influence and social influence mm -hmm. so that it really needs some individual customized attention. Right. Sure. Sure. And very private and confidential as well. Yes, of course. Yeah. yeah. They need to feel, I would assume they need to feel safe and whatnot. Um, is it, is it with everything going on in the world? Are you, did you, did you pivot and adapt to doing it online? Yes. Yes. Um, even before COVID part of my coaching, um, are online cause that can enable people to find me, you right. know, in any time zone. But during COVID time, what has changed is uh, most of people are more open-minded to try the online coaching, yeah. right? And, yeah. and I know online coaching works. Right. You know, even we are addressing all physical and psychological and emotional level matters, right? Yeah. And it works. Right. But COVID is a good opportunity for people to, you know, open up to that uh, method. Yeah, absolutely. I would. And, and if, and you're right, because if someone can over a video call, open up about their sexuality and their sensuality and all those very private things, mm -hmm. then all the other type of coaching is easy. You know, right. yeah, you know, yeah, and, yeah. You know, all the other training and coaching would be easy, but let me understand something. So you went to Boston for college. Is that right? 
for my master degree for your in master. business. In business, in, yeah. In business. <laughs> okay, so help me understand how did you get in the space of working on sensuality and sexuality you know, with individuals? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's interesting you're asking me now because uh, quite often when I'm talking to someone, right? So this is the first question they would be curious about, but I love to answer, I always love to answer that, my own journey. So uh, put it in, uh, in a brief ma manner, so I came to New York, I came to New York City after graduated from my business school, right? And I did a decade long work as a, a business strategy in business management for large global corporation, right? While I was making to the level, climbing the ladder and to the level of business director, and I felt I primarily, I was driven from my mind space and I felt exhausting mm. and it was mm -hmm. like draining, right? I couldn't figure out why at that time, but right. I was committed to myself to get into a self-exploring uh, deep dive journey to find out how can I really align with my, how my body feel and how my mind wants me to do. Right. So after a deep dive, a couple of years journey, I really discovered how important our body wisdom is Really, it's way beyond just physical contact or intimacy. Its body right. has its own wisdom and it's profound, right? And I first walked the talk, did the, you know, had the transformation myself, and I find a much deeper fulfillment and truth for myself, what I wanna do, how to combine my talent together and so on. And as a result, I transformed from my corporate job and to, coaching to help more people. My passion and mission is to support me people, more people like me in the past, right? Right. To right. find more joy, fulfillment, because if we can overcome challenges in our sex and love life, build a fulfilling intimacy and a relationship, we have that confidence to conquer anywhere in our life. It's true. I truly believe that. It's true. No, I, I would have to absolutely uh, agree with you. Although mine's a little bit opposite. Um, my confidence in my business drives my ability to be confident in my love life and sex life and all the other aspects of my life. But I totally get that. I totally get that because I know when at a time, multiple times when I got burned out and I felt so drained, it did suck every you know, it made me like a cold fish, you know, it just mm. cut out all the, the idea of even getting intimate um, mm -hmm. was and not just physically, but emotionally was just, no, 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 I don't know. I don't have enough energy for me, let alone for, you know, anybody else. Yeah. So that's fascinating, just fascinating. And what would you say, what would you say, um, well, let me make sure I'm, I'm done with my questions about that though. Um, so you do coaching and is there, and it's very one-on-one, -on -one, it's very custom, love it, love it, love it. Um, do you also kind of like provide resources to them? Do you provide, you know, pack anything packaged that would help them along their journey? Or is it really just about the interaction and the, not only, it's about the interaction and the coaching that you're providing, which is so profound. Thank you for, uh, you know, asking that. So I, Coaching is part of it. You mm -hmm. know, I often say like coaching itself, the one-on-one -on -one container, a safe space for things to unfold and uncover. Right. That's probably 50% of the change or transformation my client experiences. So what's the rest of it? The rest of 50% is I help them incorporate uh, body-based practices and some, you know, can be small as short as three minutes or five minutes practices right but it's really impactful with their day-to-day -day life because everybody's right. busy right yeah but if we cannot continue practice and cultivating the new awareness in our body and mind right we can't really have any transformation yeah. so i help them do that hold them accountable and also uh help them troubleshoot anything may come up in right. the integration process so between the sessions, 
that's how I help them. And then when they come back for a more session, right, a next one, and then we'll continue to go deeper and address the core issue. And so help them have more lasting changes. Yeah, nice. Oh, I'm just getting all tingly inside. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So you kind of answered the question, but I always like to ask it um, anyway. Help us understand what is that transformation? What is that impact and that change or that value that they're gaining as a result of working with you? Mm -hmm. So um, I'd love to share a short statement and happy to explain that more if we have time, right? So for individual men, I help them to be confident, intuitive, and great lovers. Yeah. And okay. for women, I help them to claim pleasure and eroticism. So, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, could I like dissect that to say that that means so they don't have to be like afraid or, the, or they don't have to be embarrassed about claiming what it is that they want done in the bedroom or in their, you know, love and sexual life? Is that oh, what that, that that's totally one thing okay. they can do yeah. of many right for right. let's give, give example my uh, male clients have often shared they have have gained much deeper confidence which is a true confidence of understand who they are what the value they bring to the relationship and be able to communicate that ah. without feeling anxious without feeling scared or like afraid of what to say and how to say it right and how to to better relate with in with the partners in a relationship in sex and love life right, right. and on top of it they they learn they learn erotic skills that and practices they can bring and have more pleasure and fun together with the partner right, right. uh so for my female clients i've heard they said I no longer feel either not enough or too much. I found a ground and center space and to really be able to articulate what I desire, what I want, and how to create a win-win, help my partner to please me mm -hmm. and to adore me, to hold a safe space for me. Nice. Right? Therefore, it's a win-win in the relationship. Oh, oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. Where so many would be like, you know, think it's taboo, you know, to be so open. Um, I definitely, I definitely am on your page about, you know, you have to be open. You have to declare what it is that you want, what it is you don't want and be okay with it. It's not, you know, I mean, our bodies should not be shamed, you know, shamed. Um, I love it. I love it. All right. So I have your website up. The lady, mm -hmm. uh, the lady Jen .com. Yep. What are other ways that people can reach you? Uh, so my update is often can be found on Instagram and okay. uh, you can find me as I am Lady Jen. One word. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. I am Lady Jen on Instagram and then go to the lady .com, um, on her website to learn more about Jen. This has been fabulous, Lady Jen. I so appreciate you being part of the program. Oh, thanks for having me. It's such a pleasure to share yeah, all this you're... insights with you and uh, how fun it is. <laughs> yes, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. We need to have this conversation much longer the next time. Um, awesome. Thank you so much. And for everyone else, if you happen to um, have a small business that you want to showcase you, what you do, your clients and the impact that you're having on helping you thrive today, tomorrow, and in the future, then please be sure to reach out to us at media relations at ballafiremedia.com. I would love and be honored to showcase you and help you thrive in all aspects of your life. Uh, so until next time, everyone, uh, thank you so much for joining us. And I will see you next week for another episode of the Biz Snap Show. Take care, everybody. Bye.